You can't read the label if you're stuck inside the bottle. Hey, your buddy, Stephen John Moran here. You know, I've got this 12 week maximizer program where I work with private clients. We meet once a week for 12 weeks. My sole job with these clients is to help them increase revenue, but to do it in the simplest and fastest and most efficient way possible. And interestingly enough, most of the time that ends up with me getting them to do less stuff. As crazy as that sounds, let me tell you a story. I've got this client, his name is Fabian. He's awesome, he's from Europe. In our first meeting, we always do an exercise with clients and we help them find out what their best payday is. And the concept of the best payday is that you identify the very best selling activity that you have that is the most lucrative in terms of net profit to you and the most rewarding and the most sustainable. And the idea behind it is, you know, if we focus on that one thing, then we can really achieve some pretty good simplified growth. So that was all great. And then he leaves the meeting, everything is cool. And I give him some instructions. And then when we have a second meeting, this is maybe four weeks later as he was out on the road giving presentations. So I just saw him, right? So it'd been about four weeks and this is so very, very classic. I love this guy and I love this story. And at the beginning of every meeting I'm having when I meet with clients, I always start with the very first question is, hey, what's your objective here, right? What are we looking to accomplish from this meeting? And Fabian says, well, I need to find a new business model. And I'm like, well, that's weird because, you know, the last time we spoke, stuff was working pretty good. So I say, okay, you know, tell me what's, what's going on. Tell me what happened. So here's what happened. So his instructions from the first meeting was that, all right, everything you're doing is good. Let's expand the marketplace a little bit. So he went and his best process for getting customers is to hold a live event. So he decided to hold four live events and he did it all from advertising, which is great. He's not really a big advertiser and that was new to him. So he did two of the meetings in areas where he usually does them. And he did two in other countries. So I said, okay, tell me what happened. He said, all right, you know what? Uh, here's the deal. We did everything and nobody bought. And I was like, okay, well, let's take a look at the numbers, right? And here's the deal. Here's the equation for you. Moran plus calculator equals clarity. All right. He goes, well, you know, some people came and nobody really bought enough to make it worth my while. And I said, well, tell me the numbers from every single meeting. All right. So here's how it broke down. The first two were held in another country. They didn't work out very well. Some people came. Everything he said was 100% accurate. You know, maybe 20 people, 30 people came to each meeting. Some people bought stuff, but it wasn't really enough to make it worth his while. And he said, you know, that really wasn't very good. We did a little digging and we found out the reason that nobody bought is because in order for them to get the thing that they were buying, they were going to have to go to another country to get it. So I was like, okay, well, that makes sense. Tell me about the meetings that happen in the country you normally do business in. And he goes, well, you know, I had like 20 to 30 people per meeting and I had some sales. I said, well, if you wouldn't mind, humor me. Let's do a little digging and let's find out exactly how many sales we're talking about. Long story short, he did $70,000 in sales from two meetings. Now, the meetings were each one day. As a matter of fact, they were each about a half a day, which is fantastic. But here's the best part. He spent a total of $500 on ads on each meeting. $500 on ads per meeting. So a $1,000 total ad spend turned into $70,000 in sales. I'm doing the numbers and I'm like, dude, this is phenomenal. Okay, so the numbers here show that when you do something outside the country, you might have to adjust the offer a little bit. But when you stay in the country, you turn $1,000 into $70,000. Is there any reason to not keep doing this? And once I pointed that out to him, he was like, oh my gosh, man, of course there's no reason to not keep doing this. It makes perfect sense. Now, the problem was he was focused on the ones that didn't work and wasn't focusing on the ones that did. And that's quite common. Metaphorically, it's like trying to read the label of a medicine bottle if you're inside the bottle. You can't read the label if you're inside the bottle. And a lot of times when you feel overwhelmed in your business and you feel stuck and you feel like you need to reinvent everything, it's because you're so stuck that you can't really get that 30,000 foot view to see what you really need to do. So if you find yourself in that position, here's what I want you to do. Go back over the last 12 months and identify the exact things that produce the most revenue in the most sustainable and fulfilling way for you and really look at the numbers of those things and ask yourself the question, what would happen if I just focused all my efforts and energy on just those things? I'm happy to report for my client that this equaled a very important windfall. Once we got everything back and on track and in focus, he's no longer going down the rabbit hole of having to create an entirely new business model. And he can now hopefully keep spending $1,000 to make $70,000. How crazy is that?
Naturally, my advice was next time, why don't we see what happens if we spend $5,000 on ads? Maybe we can make that same return, you know? Nonetheless, my name is Stephen John Moran. I hope you found this helpful. And you know, before we go, I just wanted to thank you for watching this video. And if your business does $250,000 or more in gross sales every year, and you'd like to grow your revenues while getting rid of complexity and stress, my company might be able to help you. We have a consulting program that's unique in these ways. Number one, I literally guarantee that you'll make at least twice our fee within the first 90 days of working together. And there's absolutely no catch to that or any fine print. We do this by eliminating the clutter and distractions that are bothering you and keeping you from getting what you want. And then finding simple ways to increase revenue immediately. Then we take that and systemize what's working so you can have sustained growth as well. Our long-term goal with clients is a minimum of 20% revenue growth in the next 12 months. Look, I'm happy to give you a free initial consulting session. It's my way of using what I like to call the oldest trick in the book, which is to demonstrate that I can help you by actually helping you. And from there, we can discuss whether or not we might be a good match in terms of working together. Regardless, I am happy to help you find some low-hanging fruit some opportunities to grow revenue in your business, and I'll do that for free. You can schedule a call with me by going to stephenjohnmoran.com forward slash call. On that website, you'll see a couple of multiple choice questions and you'll be taken to a calendar and you can schedule a time that works for you. Regardless, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it helpful and I look forward to working together soon. Thanks again.